Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Panda Dip September Exclusive Collection, and I will be showing how I created this scrub ombre manicure using the colors inside, so let's get right into the video. Alright, so here is the package that I received. I actually ordered a few shades from their permanent line, as well as the September Exclusive, so I will be showing those colors as well. And here I'm just taking all of the powder colors out. So I ordered six of these shades that are not in the exclusive collection and these are super perfect for fall and definitely stay tuned on my Instagram and YouTube for them being featured. And then here are the five exclusive colors and as you can see when I flip them over they do have sort of a cooler neutral tone. So this first shade is Garden Party, a really dark green. Here is Under the Parasol, a beautiful gold glitter. Here is Tea Time, a really dark purple. Here is Antique Lace, an off-white tan color. And Primrose, a beautiful purple glitter. And here are all of the shades swatched out next to each other, so you can see what they all look like. So I'm going to be starting off with my Clean and Prep Natural Nails, and go in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co pH Prep Liquid. And this is going to dehydrate the nail surface and prep it for the dip powder application. Then I'm going to be following that with my Hello Taco Peely base coat. And this is going to allow super easy pop off removal of my dip powder manicures. So I'm going to apply a nice thin layer of this to my entire nail and then let it dry completely before moving on. So I'm going to be using the shade Antique Lace as my base color, and this is a super light sort of off-white color. It definitely reminds me of Antique Lace like the name suggests. And I'll be using my Panda Dips Dip Liquids to do the application. So I'm starting off with a thin layer of base on my natural nail, and then I'm going to dip into the powder and tap off any excess. And as you guys know, I really love the Panda Dips formula. All of the colors I've tried from them have worked absolutely amazing, and they do have pretty unique colors. And I really like the fact that they do this sort of subscription, where they have a set of colors that are limited edition that come out every month, and I just think that's super cool, and I have never been disappointed with any of the collections thus far. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do the first and second coat of this color to get full opacity, and then I will be back for the scrub ombre technique. Alright, now I'm going to be going in with the shade Garden Party, which is that darker, mossy green color, along with my M456 brush from Morphe, which is basically just a compact eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to dip into that darker color and start scrubbing it into the tip of my nail. So as the name of this technique suggests, basically you just scrub in the pigment into the base color, and the pigment from the darker color will sort of stain the color underneath which gives a really beautiful smooth gradient effect. So I'm just going to continually do this process and you do have to apply quite a bit of pressure and this Panda Dip shade wasn't super pigmented so it did take a little bit of scrubbing for me to get that color build up but in the end I think it's a really subtle gradient and it looks really cute especially between these two colors for fall. So I'm going to let you guys watch me do this on only two of my nails just because it did take a little bit of time and I don't want to bore you. So I will be back once I'm done with this technique for clear encapsulation.
Okay, so now that the design is complete, I'm going to go ahead and clear encapsulate with DP90 Crystal Clear from Sparkle & Co. And this is going to seal in the gradient design and make sure we don't take off any of that pigment during filing. Now since this is a technique or a nail design, I would highly recommend doing a clear encapsulation layer just to protect the design because if you don't clear encapsulate, you may tend to take off some of that gradient pigment and make it uneven. So I find this is the best method in protecting that. So I'm going to apply a nice thin layer of base, dip into the clear powder and tap off any excess. And now that all of the powder layers are on, I'm going to go ahead and activate using my Panda Dips activator. And I'm going to apply two generous layers of this to all of my nails, and then let it dry completely before filing. Then once fully dry, I went ahead and filed and buffed off camera, and then I'm brushing off any excess dust. And now I'm going to seal in my dip powder manicure using my favorite Model 1's gel top coat. So I'm going to apply a nice thin layer of this top coat to all of my nails, and then wrap the free edge and cure for 30 seconds once I'm happy. And you can really see with the top coat, the gradient sort of comes out and is a little bit more defined, and obviously there is a beautiful glossy finish to all of the nails. Once the nails are fully cured, I went ahead and rehydrated my skin using my Happy Cuticle Co. Perfectly Pumpkin Oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the Panda Dip September Exclusive Collection. So as always, this collection did not disappoint me, and I totally recommend checking it out if you haven't already. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, everything I use will be linked in my description. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.